Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, we will be doing an experiment on uh, uh, just a demonstration of centrifugal blower. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, centrifugal blower setup. Uh, you can see from here. Okay. So uh, we generally see, see a blower uh, uh, like uh, we use a hair blower to blow the hairs and uh, to dry our hairs. Okay. And uh, these are used in uh, furnaces. Uh, where we used to blow the air into the furnace so that more amount of uh, burning takes place or combustion takes place in the furnaces. Okay, like Pondre and Forging uh, companies they use blowers. Okay, so the uh, generally uh, we have seen blowers as uh, hair blowers and okay, uh, like small scale. Fine. So this is just an experiment which shows me uh, in which we are gonna uh, determine the uh, the, uh, the efficiency of a blower. And, okay. So in this uh, we can see the setup over here. Okay, so this is uh, inclined uh, manometer for the pitot tube, and this is the pressure which is uh, measured across the casing. Okay, now after this, uh, this is this whole uh, blower here. Okay, so this is the blower. Okay, fine. Uh, there are three types of uh, there are three types of uh, blades which we are using. One is forward, uh, backward, and one is straight. So forward forward blades are somewhat uh, forward blades are placed here. So forward blades are uh, used to just blow the air. Power blades are used for blowing the air, uh, which are generally used in your vacuum cleaners and uh, the hair blowers. Okay, uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, sorry hair blowers we can say or hair dryers we can say they are using their uh, this forward blades. If you want to use use a reverse blade, then it is used for su suction purpose. Like uh, uh, we are using it in uh, uh, like vacuum cleaners to suck the uh, uh, the dust particles which are there in the uh, surface there on the surface so that there we are using the backward plates and the straight plates are used to remove the uh, like these are used in agricultural uh, uh, equipment like to remove the uh, part or uh, not the heavy part the smallest part uh, like uh, the lighter weight uh, particles are removed using the straight plates okay so uh, this is just an uh, over the this is the, uh, the blower okay uh, here uh, this is the pitot tube we have placed to measure the velocity of air which is flowing through this blower. Okay, so this that is the blower and this is the duct through which the air is flowing. Okay, so we have uh, one more uh, kind of uh, passage over here where through which the air is getting passed. Okay, so this may be a larger one and this may be a smaller one. Smaller one. So as it is smaller one, the pressure of what air which is coming out of this will be higher. If we reduce this area, cross section area of this, then what will happen? The air which is coming, it will be having less pressure. So that all velocity and all uh, that is measured using the manometer, which is then in the uh, setup uh, shown the over there. Okay. So how it works is, so uh, it is just a uh, general uh, blower which we use, and we have a motor to rotate the uh, the blades. Okay. So we are passing the uh, current to it by starting the motor. By starting the motor, we are passing the uh, current to it. Okay, when you start the motor, what will happen? This will show you the input power which is given to the motor. Okay, based on this, it will start moving, rotating. Okay, so after starting this motor, so what will happen? This will start showing some readings, which will give you at what rate, at what power we are supplying to the motor to rotate the blower okay so after that we will measure the flow rate of air or that you water whatever air is flowing through the duct using this manometer so using this manometer we are measuring the pressure of this manometer okay so we are getting the head here so we are measuring the head in this okay there is a passage it will show the length at what height it is flowing through okay then we are just saying the pressure across the casing this is the casing which we are using over here okay so in which you can see that there are blades here okay there are blades these are called as forward blades okay when it starts rotating it will be pushing the uh, air into the forward direction okay so the reverse blades are taking the air in the inside and this is pushing the air outside okay so this is the thing this is the casing so we are going to measure this pressure uh, inside this casing by switching this as on okay so if I on this, I can take, I can see some difference in the manometer over there. Okay. And if I on this, 
so after closing this i have to switch on this okay then i will ag again take the reading again i will take a reading of this so i am getting the pressure difference at various points of the kc okay so that's why we have to take five to six readings in this so that we can measure the various pressure difference here okay as we have seen in other experiments like uh, we can say major and minor and mercurimeter the uh, whatever manometer we have used it was having mercury okay but in this we are placing water because the whatever fluid was flowing through the uh, minor losses and major losses and in mercurimeter it was water okay so water is lighter compared to mercury okay that's why we were using a heavier liquid in the manometer and the lighter liquid in the pipes but here as we are using air as the working substance as the air is we are blowing the air okay so as we are using the air to flow through this in manometers we are putting water okay so in manometers we are using water not mercury so we are placing water over here so we are taking the reading for water so it is in terms of mm of water okay meter of water or mm of water now these are in terms of centimeter we have to convert this in terms of meter okay one more thing is that see uh, we can see that it is over here it is zero so whatever uh, 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 now value we get like if the fluid at this point if goes to 3 and here it comes to 2 so as we usual we do h1 minus h2 but here it will be h1 minus of minus h2 because it is below 0 and this is above 0 okay so there is a difference but this minus h2 will be minus of minus h2 okay that is the only thing over here and we can see that there are types of wind forward backward and straight so we only have forward and straight so uh, generally we do an experiment on forward itself and this is the duct size so whatever the channel i have shown you this is duct this is the size of that duct that is the width breadth and the length and while taking the readings you have to take the readings of this manometer reading to what is h1 h2 capital h1 h2 for this this is small h1 h2 and this will be in terms minus it will be minus h2 therefore it will be h1 minus of minus h2 and you have to note down this there will be a kind of five beats in this so we have to note down that five beats this is called an energy meter this shows us the how much amount of power we are supplying to the motor so we have to note down uh, five beats at what amount of time it is taking to beat five times okay so it will uh, there will be a light which will be blinking okay so at what fires uh, how many seconds it is taking or how many how much time it is taking to blink five times okay if we know that that is called as n so these are the things uh, and uh, if uh, the, so uh, generally we are taking five uh, kind of blinks so if it is taking uh, five so how much amount of time is taking so three readings we are taking h1 h2 h1 h2 then for this how much time it is taking to uh, go for five uh, bl blinkings okay so this is the experiment for centrifugal blower and uh, this is the way it works input power efficiency and we calculate its efficiency from this and this is the uh, actually this is the rpm at which this is rotating okay so at which this plate is rotating we are calculating its rpm